Of course it's worse. What's up guys? Welcome to Granddaddy Basin. We are right now sitting at the top of, what is it, Hades Pass? Hades. Hades Pass, I wanted to say Hayden Pass, but that's not right. Hades Pass, just uh, with Granddaddy Basin behind the camera here, what we're looking at. So we have already hiked, what about three and a half miles-ish, something like that. Something like and that. we're sitting at 10,600 feet, having some lunch. We've got an awesome weekend planned. Really excited about it. So we're doing an entire loop of the Granddaddy Basin. Really, really excited about it because it's something I've wanted to do for a long time. And tomorrow evening, we've got uh, somebody else joining us. Will, Wasatch Will, is going to be uh, joining up with us for a few hours overnight. And then he's got to take off pretty early, I think. But we're excited to, to have Will uh, join us tomorrow after we uh, get camp set up at one of these other lakes. So anyway, guys. Enjoy the Granddaddy Basin as we take a tour. We are just having a fantastic day. Taking things a little bit more casual. Having Whatever, a great- Dude, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> My pace is beating Jared into the ground. Lies. Yeah, no, it's been good. We, uh, we're now in Grand Addy Basin and the plan is to head out to Pine Island Lake. I think we should just go there, dude. Well, we're gonna, we have to pass it. Either. Yeah, we have to pass it. We'll see what time it is when we get to Pine Island. But, it's been quite a while since I've been here and actually really excited to, to be out here right now. Quite, quite excited. The last time I was here was about seven years ago uh, with my wife during our first year of marriage. So it's good to be back. Jared's not as uh, good looking as my wife. I won't argue that point. But he'll do. In fairness, you're not as good looking as my wife and that's the last time I was here was with her, so. <laughs> Pretty much we're just old, ugly dads. <laughs> I think that's pretty much what we have concluded. Like everybody, ain't she pretty? <laughs> hey, that's a camp spot. Yes, it is. A few people have been there. A few people, a few times. <laughs> Once it's not windy, we'll uh, we'll talk about this a little bit. So an interesting thing, probably for many of you out in this area. I don't know what it's like in other national forests and what restrictions are like, but with all of the lakes around here and particularly in these high use uh, basins. So uh, if you look at like the National Geographic maps for the high Uintas, they've got like certain areas of the maps kind of like in a pink color, which basically designates that this is a high use area and so there are certain restrictions that you have uh, within, within these high use areas. And one of the things that uh, is part of like this basin around all of the lakes is no fires within a quarter mile of the lake and no camping within 200 feet of water, 200 feet of the trail and even 200 feet from Another holy mud. Oh, mud hopping. No camping within 200 feet of another occupied campsite. 
So that's kind of unique because here in this forest, in this wilderness area, there are not any designated uh, like numbered campsites. Because it's such high use, there is a lot of like space that has been used time and time and time again by people, but those are just some of the things that uh, you experience when you have a high use area. So no fires for us. We're not really fire people anyway, unless we absolutely need it. Well, that's not pretty at all. Take me home. This is stupid. Where have you brought me? <laughs> oh, I love it. So this is Fish Hatchery Lake. Ooh, can you hear the frogs? Oriole toads? Probably. I guess. This is what happens when you wear a pack that doesn't have any kind of back panel that breathes. <laughs> I'm just a little bit sweaty. A little bit. Wow, dude, this is awesome. This is really, really cool. To be clear, he's trying to come up with an excuse for why he pooped and it went up his back like a baby does. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> hey, Cooper, zoom! World's fastest land animal. Actually, that's Riley the dog, but Coop's pretty fast. <laughs> well, mosquitoes are bad. Yep, oh, right through the shirt. <laughs> so I had a pretty cool thing happen today that was actually the first time it's ever happened. And uh, so I'm gonna give this gentleman a shout out. I wanna say his name is Bill said it really fast there in the restaurant so I apologize if you're watching this and that's not right but you know who you are if you're watching so what we uh, what happened was we were at the restaurant getting some breakfast one of my favorite places to oh gosh one of my favorite places to eat uh, before coming up into the Uintas or after doing a trip here and this gentleman Bill uh, walked over after he finished his meal and came up to me and said hey I just wanted to say hi and just was such a cool, cool thing to to talk to somebody that recognized me from YouTube and I just happened to be in the same uh, restaurant as them. So super appreciate you and saying hi, Bill. And uh, yeah, thank you for, for coming over to say hi. That was really cool and made me feel really good. And I just appreciate uh, that kind of thing. It's never happened before, so that's the first time. And like I said, I just really, really appreciate that. It was a really nice thing, made me feel really good. and. Uh, made uh, doing all this YouTube stuff pretty worth it if uh, if uh, people are gonna come over and say thanks for putting videos out so again really really appreciated that so as we were about to come over Hades Pass there was another gentleman that was coming back down towards the trailhead that uh, is a fellow youtuber that thought I'd just do a little shout out for he was just awesome to talk to had been out for gosh almost a week and uh, did lots of different stuff just had a really enjoyable conversation with him his name is David and uh, his channel uh, is called Fike and Hish so instead of hike and fish Fike and Hish so I wasn't familiar with it gonna check it out and uh, enjoy his videos are around Utah. So you might check them out too. So we are going to hike to Pine Island Lake. We're gonna set up camp there as opposed to going to Rainbow tonight. We figured we might as well just enjoy a little bit more time in camp instead of hiking the extra, you know, it's not even a long distance, like a mile, mile and a half to get to Rainbow. So it puts us at about seven miles for the day so excited to get the pack off and just enjoy the evening eat some food and hang out in one of the 
best places ever. Prime the stove. Pasta sauce. Oh, baby! Dude. That looks good. Mushrooms sauteed, sharp cheddar cheese, rotini, and pasta sauce. This is the good stuff. This is seriously amazing. Like, incredible. One of the better meals I've made. Well, I'll tell you what, it has been one awesome day. Just beautiful weather, and man, it's everything about today has been great. So, thought I'd give you a little quick tour of camp, show you kind of what we got set up, and how things look so without further ado here is uh, Jared's setup he's running it's actually my uh, bug bivy but this is the Perea outdoor products uh, bug bivy which is a fairly new product I believe from them um, not not been released for too long but then he's got the outdoor vitals sleeping bag and a Nemo vector sleeping pad which is pretty sweet. So he's going tarpless tonight since there's not a real threat of rain. And then I'm running just because I got the dog with me to keep uh, him contained. Got my black diamond highlight. And I'm working with the all new Axel Air Big Agnes sleeping pad. And then I've got the Perea Outdoor Products 30 degree thermo down quilt. So excited about that. And we've just got some hammocks set up over here. Basically, a DIY hammock there on the left, or in the back. And then this one here is the Shell Toei uh, half shell. So, which is kind of a really beautiful, beautiful spot to be hanging out for the night. Just had dinner, it's just awesome. Really, really enjoying things right now. You'll notice that I'm not wearing my red go-to pullover. Went and got myself a uh, nice flannel shirt, so pretty psyched about that. It's warm, it's super comfortable, so. Anyway, that's gonna be it for tonight. We'll, uh, we'll catch you in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was cool. Well, good morning. Just about killed myself with a broken branch. I'm getting food down. Trying to be all creative. Didn't really work. Just broke the branch and about died. Way to go. The joys of hanging food. <laughs> Smitty. What's up, dog? You're like as big as that tent. 
<laughs> I just had to make sure I was slightly smaller than the mesh so the mosquitoes could bite me through it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Shall we do this? Yeah, dog. I just have to decide what kind of contortionist act. Hey, Coop. Hey, Coop. We'll get you out of the tent. Yeah. That's fair. Look how pretty it is this morning. About 10, 15 or so, and we're back on the trail. Today's gonna be kind of an interesting day. We've got a huge descent in the first half of the day, and then a huge gain to, uh, to finish off, so that's gonna be kind of interesting, but it's terrain that I'm really excited to see, and man, we just have had, it's been such a fantastic trip so far. Really, really enjoying ourselves. And I would be shocked to see anybody else out on the trail this morning, which is really, really cool for this area. Not, not the norm. So we're coming up on Governor Dern Lake. <laughs> wow, dude. Whoa, baby. <laughs> That's so pretty. So this is Governor Dern Lake. The meadows that are just surrounding this are so amazing. Wow. It's an incredible view. Well, we've been stopped here at the junction to head back up to Granddaddy Lake. That was a pretty brutal descent, to be quite honest, because A, there was like downed trees everywhere. So the route finding was pretty interesting. And the fact that the, the trail really hasn't had very much traffic uh, as of late. So- I wouldn't say in the last couple of years. Yeah, a lot of it, uh, that was Jared that said that. A lot, <laughs> a lot of it is actually starting uh, to become overgrown, which is pretty wild. But we are making our ascent now up to Fern Lake, where we're gonna camp tonight, and Will, Wasatch Will, is gonna be meeting us, so excited to see that. But we got one tired dog, and but we're in a beautiful place, and it's just awesome, having a great time. So we're gonna hit the trail, I'm not gonna film much of, of this until we get into camp and so we'll catch it in. Mosquitoes land on the mesh, and I flick them off, and they bounce off of the tarp. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so we happen to be sitting in 
each of our tents hiding from the mosquitoes because they are out of control right now. Just totally, totally out of control. And this dog, oh, I just feel so bad. He has had quite the day, quite the day. It's about 7.30 right now. We're just waiting in the tents, hiding from the mosquitoes, kind of waiting for uh, Will to show up. And uh, yeah, once he shows up, I'm sure things will be a little bit more exciting and hopefully the bugs have kind of gone to sleep for the night. That's not a real thing, but yeah. We'll see when Will gets here. Currently trying to find a place to hang our bear rope. It's dark. <laughs> We're still waiting they, for Will. Can they even see you? Yeah, they can. Wow. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. So it's almost 9.30 and we're still waiting for Will. Hoping that he shows up at some point. We'll see. That looks like we're about to boil here, by the way. But yeah, we're just boiling some water so that we can uh, more or less have some hot cocoa. And if you're curious, the reason that we are camping and breaking the rules, we are absolutely breaking the rules. Absolutely. We got a dog that has a really, really bum paw and we just could not go any further today. So this was it and yeah, it's a beautiful spot. It really is. Poor little dude. <laughs> We got Lodgepole Lake behind me here. Just awesome. So, so pretty. So we're gonna have some hot cocoa. Hang a bear rope. Well, look who decided to show up. Not till 8 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah, kidding. We set him up a little bit. Fault. Yep. He actually ended up walking all the way to Fern. And there's Will in the flesh. Here for breakfast stuff, so. <laughs> it's all good. It's a little it's chilly today. It's a lot colder than it was yesterday. Way colder than it was yesterday. Way colder. Alright, let's stack. <laughs> After breakfast, hiking out together as planned. All right, back on the trail. Day three. We got Will with us. Still feel bad for bailing on the original plan and not being able to tell him what we were changing to do, but. Such as life in the backcountry. Got this bandana on because my neck is blistered. It's burned so bad. That's what I get for forgetting my sunscreen. Oops. It's quite the climb to get out of here. This is the one section of trail we haven't done yet. Wow, this is steep. Yeah, I got the glutes burning, dude. Wow, dude. Woo -hoo -hoo. Take a look at the boot that I fashioned out of roller gauze, athletic tape, and KT tape. So that Cooper can actually walk today instead of being carried out. He's got an entire pad on that paw that is totally ripped off. How's Betsy? It's nice. Yeah, I'm not going to go all the way down because I don't want to climb all the way back up. <laughs> Knowing that we have a climb to get out of here. <laughs> All right. Here's your last look of Granddaddy Lake in the basin. We start making our way up 
here to the top of Hades Pass. Which I always want to call Hayden Pass. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> but it gets called Hades Pass because the canyon that you drive up to to get to the trailhead is called Hades Canyon. At least that's the connection I make. We've been sitting here for gosh 45 minutes almost an hour at this point so what happened was will walking down the trail he uh realized that he didn't have his phone with him and didn't know where it was so we said we'll sit and watch your pack instead of carrying on and you go up and try to find your phone somewhere on the trail i have no idea where it might be but we'll see hopefully he finds it but yeah, we're just hanging out. It's threatening to rain a little bit. So, that's what's happening. Here comes Trail Runner Will. <laughs> With phone in hand. Heck yeah, dude. Oh, how far back do you have to go? I laid it on a log back by the basin bag pictures. Oh, no kidding. Like. Oh my gosh. Uh, so, I've never through hiked a long trail, but if I did, I always wondered what my trail name would be. After this, I think it would be Run Back. Because <laughs> uh, on the Highline Trail, twice I left my trekking poles behind, had to run back a quarter mile to get those. Another day. You had to get your glasses, had right? Glasses, had to run back a mile, mile and a half for those. This one takes the cake. <laughs> oh my gosh. Either I run, either run one. back or forgetful. I never do that when I'm alone. <laughs> it's always with a group. It's just the distractions of socializing, I guess. Yeah. Well, glad you found it, dude. Yeah. Yeah. That was the most expensive thing I would have left behind, too. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Woo. Life lesson, kids. Don't forget your gear. <laughs> Lock it up good. <laughs> Now we're gonna have Will rest for a few. <laughs> All right, home stretch, here we go. Just about back to the cars. I think we did something like 21, 22-ish miles over the last three days. It's been great, had an awesome time and really glad we were able to catch up with Will today. And uh, what had happened there was he stopped at our camp way, way before the place that we said we were going to, to camp with him. And uh, he stopped and wish he would have yelled, but it didn't happen. So thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out. This is Granddaddy Basin. Hi, you went to wilderness? Oh, baby. We'll see you later, guys. Happy trails. How full was it when you guys pulled in? We were eight cars. We were the eight. Oh, wow. We were the eight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a wrap.